Okay, let's say we're live. Welcome to Wire Wednesday, number 17. I know it's Thursday, but if you're watching this at another time, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so sorry for the delay. We went out of town for a few days, came back, and I didn't have enough time to do... Uh, I didn't have enough time to be <laughs> messing me up. Didn't have enough time to do live stream yesterday. So today we're doing a live stream, and today we're covering a lower wraparound. Uh, today, my son is helping me with the video production. He is off out of school, yay. and yay! <laughs> and uh, can can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. In that, okay. Make sure make sure the audio is good. I'm gonna start up the chat here. Make sure it's going. Okay, so I got the chat going. So let's just. Get started. So I have. Have you? Go ahead and switch. Yeah. yeah. All right. So All right. I, I have already prepped this. Uh, this has not been a good model to work with, but it's the best one I have. Um, and I, I think they're just holding the teeth are crooked. I know, but I think they're just holding uh, the the teeth until they can, so they don't shift anymore. Anyway. Um, what I like to do on my uh, all my lower wraparounds is do a continuous rest or a rest bar, some people call it, um, and that is just going to be an 028 wire, and that I th believe gives it strength because it's going to be thin acrylic. You can tell by the model I had to trim away a lot of stuff just to all this was impression of the tongue, and I had to trim it out and make it flat. Um, and they want it holding wire, so I'm going to use 024 holding wires. Oh, here, I drew that in the wrong spot. Glad I went over this. So that's wrong right there. Uh, and then I'm going to use 036 wire for my labial bow. Now, I don't like bending these, these are not fun for me. Uh, if I'm to hang up on one, it's probably going to be this one. And uh, so let's get started. Hopefully, we can get done. At a decent time. Let me refresh this page. All right, I'm gonna, I usually start with the uh, lower. Um, I use O two eight wire for my uh, continuous rest bar. I'm going to contour this to the front. It's kind of hard when these teeth lean in like this. So I bend my up bend here. Mark that. Bend that up bend. Again, if you're just tuning in, it's Wire Wednesday on a Thursday, and we're doing a lower wraparound. I'm working with my, oh, hey, Raccoon Lufa 88, how you doing? Glad you joined us. It's kind of hard, I don't know if many of you lab owners yourself but coming off of here in America we had uh, Memorial Day and uh, usually that's a day off of work for everybody so um, we took a couple days off went to New Mexico had a good time rode four wheelers up in the mountains uh, but as always with labs it's you come back to you either stay up late trying to get caught up there's a crunch right before a holiday and a crunch right after my cutters now I don't want to get too far I don't know if the camera angle can see this or not I don't want to get too far into that undercut so I'm trying to go straight down from that undercut 
Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Where are you? Where are you at again, raccoon? Lufa? Alright, I got... So now I'm going to wax this down. I'm going to get all my little tools here. So it's, it's always nice to have a day off of work, but, you know, the work it takes when before you get that day off and then the day after you get that day off always gets uh, hectic. So that's why I wasn't able to live stream yesterday, and I'm live streaming today, but I still call it Wire Wednesday because it sounds better than Wire Thursday. Okay. I'm looking at this and I'm not liking it too much. I got I feel like I have too much space right here and right here, so I'm gonna pop this back off and recontour that. Get rid of this wax. So to recontour that I'm going to Flatten the front out just a tad, which will expand them out, and then I'm going to round it a little bit here. Let's see how that does. Alright, I think we're, I think I might have rounded it a little too much. Back off just a little bit. Okay, everybody let me know if it sounds good and the picture's good. I'm missing some equipment. So I'm, I'm a little lost right now without all my equipment. In fact, I'm missing one of the phones that I usually use. My wife's old Galaxy S6. My son, my youngest son, has it with him. He likes to play games on it. The other day, he put a passcode on it, and he was gone, and I couldn't figure out the darn passcode. I couldn't use it then either. Okay, I like that better. So, what? What new? The phone wasn't me. No, it was the other, my other son. I know I'm starting a little early. I was trying to start at 12, but then some stuff came up. We got, were picking up our son and stuff, so I had to reschedule it to 7. Then I didn't have to do that. So here we are again, starting in the middle, 30 minutes late. So probably around 1, I think some people are probably going to be jumping on to watch. So if, if you're late... Sometimes your player will let you watch from the beginning so you don't miss anything. So funny how this happens. Everything's good until I put wax on it and then... What a way to start a live stream. Gotta love wire bending live. You get to see all the mistakes. Are you are you showing that? No. No. Hello, Greg. Nice to see you again. Many of you might know my son Sawyer, the famous dancing boy. In one of my other videos. Yeah. 
Everybody likes your dance moves, Sawyer. He's picked up some new dance moves from a video game. Please stop. And he's been practicing them, so maybe he'll show them to y'all. No. <laughs> and what he doesn't know, one's in the Charleston, which is a very old dance move. But I guess it's making a comeback. Alright, so now, I got that where I want it. Got the right spacing here. All the way around. I'm ready for the big wire. So I use 036 for my main wire. Uh, I used to use 032 and contour it real tight in here and it just it just wasn't a good design. So now I don't contour it. Let, that way, the reason you get a wraparound is to let teeth settle and stuff um, or to close spaces. Um, so with me going into in and out of each groove, each, each embrasure, it wasn't a good design. So moved to 036, got this from another uh, lab guy I worked for. Okay, I'm going to make my mark about the start of my loop about one millimeter past the middle of the canine. Now I just make a basic loop. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. I'll kind of repeat that. I did the loop this way, and then I just rotated my pliers around and bent it back. All right, so now I am just going to contour this where it touches each tooth. Now I'm gonna, not going to try to go in and out of uh, where you get those pins from. Pins. Oh, these pins? Is that where the, what I marked the wire with? I don't know if you can read that. It's just a felt tip paper mate. Oh, you got, can you see it? Flare M. And I just take the cap and I mount it in some extra plaster. <laughs> So that's where, I, and I, I put it at an angle so I can grab it real easy, make my mark, and then put it back. If that's what you're talking about, Greg, about the pins. Uh, my computer's trying to update. Do it later. Try it tonight. So I just get those pins from any uh, Office Depot or Supply, and I like them because, oh, okay good, that's what you're talking about. What I like about them is they make a nice dark mark. Can you see that, Sawyer? Like, um, there you go. So can you see the black marks on there? Yeah, I can. So then I like it because then I can just wipe it off, and it wipes off really easy. So. I haven't experimented with other colors, but all right. From the top shot, you can see now I have had to go around this tooth, touch that tooth, touch that tooth, and I'm going to try to tuck it in. This is the one place where I'm going to go into the embrasure, and that's going to uh, give it a place for retention. One thing about wraparounds is you have to always get it, when you go back to the model, you're going to have to always go back to the same spot you were before. So I use my finger here, and I try to feel it with my finger that it's in the middle of that tooth. Alright, so now I'm going to bend this back up. I probably should do this the right way with a pair of pliers. Have a little bit more control, but using three prongs, you run the risk of it rotating on you and bending it the wrong direction. 
All right, so I'm gonna check the level. Make sure it's in the middle of the tooth. Tooth teeth. All right, so I'm at a point where I need to go across. I guess you could say the occlusion, but the gums right here. But I'm already hitting over here, so I'm just gonna cut it. What are you saying back there? Hello! I can't read your name, but hello! <laughs> Where are you from? Was that South Korean? I could be wrong. Sorry you can read that. Sorry, no, what is that? You can't. Okay. No. Alright. So now I'm hitting down here. But it's time for me to bend this. I'm going to bend this straight forward into this mark. Kind of give it a little curve. Alright, so you can pretty much do anything you want in here, um, but I'm going to mark it right where that ends. I wonder if I can fold it back on itself. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'm going to cut it and crimp it. Crimp it. I don't know if anybody saw me do that. I'll try to do a better job next time. So, I got the important thing is make sure everything keeps getting lined up the same because if you are off kelter with one bend, it'll throw everything off. And that's what I don't like about wraparounds is it's too long of a span of wire. Too long of a span of wire to make many mistakes with it. Alright, I've got the right side done. So time to make sure everything's still touching the way I want to. So time to go to the other side. Gotta make sure I'm still level. Oh, it's Stanley! Hi, uh, Stanley. Is that what that means? The the characters? Does that mean Stanley? From Taiwan. Oh, excellent. What time is it there in Taiwan? Is it late? Or maybe early? I'm backwards on my... Sawyer will guess. Sawyer, what time is it in Taiwan right now? Lunchtime. Lunchtime. <laughs> But it's dinner time. Alright, so gonna make my same mark. About half of the canine. Okay. Alright, so we're see if we can get this in the screen. I'm gonna get my three prongs. I'm gonna bend 90 down. Take my loop former. I'm going to rotate it around my loop. Now if I'm doing a regular holly, I stop there. And this will go over the occlusion. But since I'm doing a wrap, this next bin makes it a wrap. Bend it back. Right, let's see how that turned out. Not bad. It's a little flared. I think you can see from the top shot. It's a little flared out. So I'm going to torque it down. Now one thing you gotta be careful of, it's hitting here on the model. So I'm having a little hard time trying to get it to torque down the way I want to. Still gotta seat this the same way every time. When teeth are crooked like this, it's kinda hard to bend wire. I'm not even gonna attempt to try to touch that tooth. Heck, the doctor may wanna try to push it out by modifying the acrylic on the lingual. 
But I didn't get any instructions from the doctor on this, so. He or she, I don't know which one it is. He or she wants to wrap, just to wrap around. Sam. Sam Salmon. Man, I don't know what that says. It looks like it's Arabic. Sawyer can read that. What does that say, Sawyer? Um, let's use Google Translation. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 154 AM? Holy cow, you are up late. You know you can't sleep when you're watching a random YouTube channel at one something in the morning. Just finished your work? Like, do you work in a lab too? Stanley? Alright, so this is getting flared out a little bit more than I would like. There we go. I kind of like that. Still going down mostly the middle. I'm going to flare this up just a little bit. Flare is my favorite word today. <laughs> I like your young plier. Yeah, this is kind of like a young plier. I believe it's uh, from GreatLakesOrtho.com. Maybe I can put that in the notes. Yeah. Yeah, that's from GreatLakesOrtho.com. Uh, it's a holly loop forming plier. It actually is supposed to have a tiny little barrel on the end of this bigger barrel. Sam, I can't read that. <laughs> I'm going to have to do Google Translate or something. Let's see if I can do that. Anyway, um, I do like young pliers too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get me a pair, uh, but I don't have any on me right now, so I'm using this loop forming. And, and this is a well used, very old plier. Um, again, I've broken that little barrel off. I used to make great little loops with it, but I've actually modified this. For at one point when they made new ones, see I broke this barrel off too. Uh, they made this too wide right here, so it made my loops too tall. So I actually modified this with a heatless stone to make my loops a little bit smaller. I'm going to translate this. Oh, copy. Whoa, that's not it. <laughs> that was not it. I can't copy. Oh, maybe I can. Here we go. Exit. Paste. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Sam? Oh, maybe I'll do it here so everybody can see. Oh, no, it'll be too long. Let me translate this. Sorry, this is something you need to be doing. Why? I love the heart about his knowledge. Oh, thank you. Sam, last one. Copy. I just love Google Translate. Arabic. I have no idea what that says. Golly, back, back, tall, katof. I don't know what that is. Okay. Maybe that's where you're at. Back to the bending. So you can see I'm 
I think I got this bend out in a good spot. I'm going to put a bend in right here. I'm hitting right here, so I'm going to I'm going to curve. If you can see from this camera angle, I'm going to curve up just a little bit. Get it out of there. I got to curve up anyway because I got to get over that posterior gum tissue. Hello, Thiago Fosqueda. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce names to save my life. Thiago. Sam? What are you sending me? Alright, I'm going to copy. Let's translate. Paste. Sell me. Sell me a helming. For your, for your side. I don't I think Google Translate messed that up. <laughs> oh, you did it again. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can share the screen here. Okay, so let's go with YouTube. I'm bringing it up so everybody can see it. Instead of us, Sawyer and I, just looking up at a screen. Yeah, sorry about butcher your name. Thea Fons Fonseca. Tiago. Tiago. There's my knife. There's my knife. Uh, so I'm just conforming this to go around the distal of the 7 better. Okay, so let me go with uh, live stream here. Boop, 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 boop. This is not the right page. Alright, let's let that load. Internet might be a little slow. Yes, Fonseca, that's my last name. Is TH with a th or a t sound? Uh, so I'm touching over here on this side, so I'm going to clip that. There we go. I have control room. Let this load. I'm going to go to bed so sleepy, but I want to watch it. It's being recorded, so Stanley, if you uh, don't worry, you can catch up where you left off uh, in the morning, and you won't miss anything. So you need to record? I hear it. Oh, it's being recorded by YouTube, not by us. Can you translate what I said? Yes, right now. Sam. Nice. Okay, I'll translate this last one you sent. Let's see. Copy. Paste. <laughs> For he has saved the sugar from me. I don't know what that means. <laughs> For he has saved the sugar from me. Maybe the second and first one. This one? Oh, 
let's try this one. Here, switch to this view. I got it pulled up now. Copy. And paste. Pocket with a button and a bag of sugar. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> and another one was for he has saved the sugar from me. How funny! That's do hilarious. The first one. Do the first one. The second one, I meant. Right here. Second one. Yeah, that one. This one. No. Yeah. The this second one? one. There's four of them right here. <laughs> that one. Uh, that's what I just did. No, you did. I didn't do this one. You did this one. This one. Yes. Okay. And you will be satisfied. I'm doing these out of order. It's probably saying something. You will be satisfied for pocket and sugar, but he has saved the sugar for me. <laughs> Is this a song? Are you listening to pop music from, well, America? <laughs> Can you translate what I said? Well, now somehow you switched it back over to English, Sam. Oh yeah, Stanley, so back to your, yeah, you probably already went to bed, but you can watch this in the morning. It'll be re recorded by YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sorry, it, it records, YouTube records everything. So then it converts it into just a regular video instead of a live stream after we're done. Nice man, a nice man. I don't know if he's talking about me or... Okay, so... Back to wire bending. We're there. I still don't have it fully tucked in here. Huh? Can you switch it back to the chat? Up here, so you can see it better? Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to try to bend this up again into a circle. Ow, this hurts my fingers. From Syria. Awesome. You have to forgive me, all I know from Syria is what I see on the news, and I know all that's wrong. The, the American news. So, looks like I'm done with the main wire. So, what you probably won't see me do is that when this is done, I'm going to tighten this up over here. But actually, let me kind of show you what, what I'm going to do to tighten it up. So, if you can see, it's not touching this tooth or this tooth. So, I'm actually going to bend it here and flare that out a little bit and then bend it up here somewhere to fold in this section. So they have to be kind of just subtle bends up here. But you gotta be careful because you could screw it up like I did just then. Now let me undo this bend around. Oh, you're studying dentistry. Oh, you're studying to be a dentist in Syria. Can you help to learn what you do? Yeah, you definitely watch all my videos. I've heard of uh, dental students all the time watching my videos before they have to take a 
uh, one of their ortho tests. Um, so, yeah, just look up my channel and you'll see all my videos there. I also have a website called designerretainer.com and uh, it I have a few posts there where I try to explain in written format what I can do or what I do I haven't done that in a while I'm gonna to try to start getting back into it try to make a, a database for people to use to learn to do this I have uh, finally connected my patreon account to my website so that will be a change coming up soon is uh, people can get those archives if you're a patreon subscriber well Sam this is good for you very nice man yeah and again it's being recorded so you can watch it over and over again you can fast forward through the slow parts to get to the good parts alright so I like that this is a little longer than this but I'm not too worried about that I don't want to mess it up too bad so I'm gonna I'm touching all the teeth except for this one this cricket one there's a dog barking in the backyard got a ding from someone. I'm going to move this camera. Alright. Message from the wife. Am I in frame again? call on one of my cameras yes Sam you can uh, go to if you're on Facebook you can go to messenger uh, look up retainerdesigner.com on Facebook and uh, you should be able to message me there oh, that's the easiest way to message me I think it's retainerdesigner.com is the username. Oh, I did that wrong. We're both trying to type at the same time. There we go. Oh, you can also email me at retainerdesigner at gmail.com. My son's typing it for you. Yeah, so you can email there, or, or you can contact me through Messenger on Facebook. The username, Retainer Designer. Let me see if I can find that. I'll show it to you here. Ah, oh, never mind. I can't type. I can't type. All right, my last thing. You can find it. Just look up Retainer Designer um, on Facebook, and you should be able to find me. And you can message me there. So now for the holding wires. Some people call them keeper wires or, or labial bowl stabilizing wires. I'm going to use a size 024 for this. And I have my jar back pliers here. And I'm just going to make a little circle. I'm going to close it off and just open it up again. About the thickness of the wire. There is a way, and I have a video of this, where you can make a coil out of this and you would just slide it on the retainer 
um, before you wax it down. And then as it's on there like this, you just adapt it as you go. There we go. One question. In general, I indicate this appliance immediately after removing the braces for maintenance of teeth position. But I see your model, the anterior teeth, especially 32, are not aligned. What is the aim of this appliance when the teeth are not aligned? Just keep the position. Well, that's my question, too. Um, I just make what the doctor orders. I want to say it's just to maintain the teeth so that they don't get any worse. But I've seen in this case where they would just put a bonded lingual in there. Um, but maybe they're wanting to gather spaces. I don't see spaces. Yeah, this is perfect for um, when the kids come out of braces. What did you say? But, oh, my Facebook account is Sam Q. Solomon. Please chat me on it. Okay. I'll make a note of that. Here, write that down. Huh? In here, somewhere. Okay. Sam Q. Solomon. Uh, words. Where? Where do I make a note of things? Yes, this probably isn't the best appliance for this case. So I think the doctor just likes wraps. He orders them upper and lower all the time. And uh, he's a general dentist. So maybe he's just more comfortable using wraps to maintain the teeth. And, you know, maybe the, the cricket teeth, they don't bother the patient. They just want it to stop getting worse. Because I would say, you know, they could probably shave the inside of this, you know, when they add acrylic and add some acrylic and push that tooth out, but it, it's still not a good position. I, I assume it's just maintenance, like you said. Yeah, let me see if I can... Okay. Yep. This is my page that you can best to reach me. Um, just look up Retainer Designer to find your page. Um, I'm looking for what the page would look like in y'all's in. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay. Well, that's not right. Alright, so this is the page. Just look up retainerdesigner.com. Make sure you see this icon. And then you can message me here somewhere. There is supposed to be somewhere where I can look and see. What do you think that is? All right, let me finish this real quick.
Am I out of the frame? No, I was. Oh, let me. All right, let me tell you what I'm doing here. Um, there's one where I make a coil, but I like these because they can be repaired. Um, the coil ones, if they break, you got to strip out all the acrylic to repair it, um, which I didn't like doing. Because so, sometimes you just, everything fit great. Didn't need to replace the acrylic, just replace this one wire. <clears throat> so then when everything's done, the acrylic is done, you can just close that loop back up using a pair of pliers. I don't like the way it's flared out. I feel like when I go to trim it, it's gonna uh, get broken really easily. I do like using 024 wire instead of any thinner wire. I know it, it probably will fit in between the teeth better, but they break so much easier. stick with that and call it a day let me adjust these make them look a little bit better there we go Okay, so this is a wraparound retainer. It is a little bit... crooked right now. But I can adjust that later on. But it looks a little crooked because this tooth is collapsed down some. But otherwise, I'm the same distance between the gum line and the wire. Except for that one, but it's collapsed in. Okay, so let's let's end it there. There would be a little bit of more adjustment where I could pull this up, but this will get closer. Sam, okay, I'm afraid to translate this, Sam. Here we go. If it's a cuss word. Remember, yow, yow, yo, a wall, yo, a wall. I'm getting distracted. There's too much stuff going on in the house. Sawyer. Yola. Okay, so some changes I would make, I'd swoop this down a little bit more, um, and I would adjust this up, and then have to swoop that down a little bit more. But I'm going to end it there. That adjustment can take up to 10 more minutes or so, but you can kind of see the overall, um, like I said, it's hard with crooked teeth, but you can kind of see the overall workings of a wraparound, lower wraparound holly. So, sorry, I'm going to end it there. And okay, so you ready to end it? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, we'll end it there. And uh, thanks for watching. Patreons, uh, pay attention. There might be another live stream a little later on where I answer your questions. Uh, till then, uh, I'll see you next Wednesday. And happy bending.